Before this day is over, something very ugly is going to happen to hundreds of American women. It is a deliberate act of violence. It is one of the fastest growing crimes in this country, and any woman could become its victim. Who is the man who rapes? He may be a neighborhood teenager, a husband and father, a friendly stranger, or even the man next door. He belongs to all social, economic, and racial classes. Until he rapes, he's anonymous. Like the rapist, the potential rape victim is never typical. It's not her age or her appearance that makes her selectable. She's chosen simply because she's a female who happens to be in an environment that isolates her with a man intent upon rape. Dark streets, cars, secluded areas, even the woman's own home. The rapist needs a lonely place in which he's free to act with little chance of observation. The vulnerable woman is the one the rapist is looking for. Hitchhiking is one of the most popular ways of traveling in the United States. Many of the hitchhikers now found on the road are women. I've been hitchhiking since junior high school. Last summer, I even went coast to coast by hitching. Everyone I've ever ridden with has always been nice to me. I've never had any trouble. I enjoy hitching, and it saves me money that I can use for school. At the present rate that sex crimes are rising, the odds are against the female hitchhiker never having any trouble. At some time in her hitchhiking experiences, she will more than likely become the victim of a sexual act, anything from indecent exposure to forcible rape. Many rapists deliberately prowl the highways. They are fully aware of the vast numbers of females that are now turning up on the road. Any woman who hitchhikes should know what that free ride might cost her. Besides the possibility of a rape attack, she also risks being severely beaten, shot, or stabbed. Rapists are extremely violent men. Many of their victims never do reach their destination. They become homicide cases. Sometimes it is a woman's own automobile in which she finds herself trapped with an angry rapist. Mm, half a pound. There's your half a pound. A little extra for good measure. Unlocked car doors and windows are open invitations to the rapist who chances on a lone woman driver.
how many seconds does it take to lock a door, roll up a window, look in the back seat? Overcoming the emotional after effects of a sexual attack will take much longer, like maybe a lifetime. has become a hazardous place for the stranded woman. Forgetting to keep an eye on the gas gauge or not having a well-running vehicle can be far more dangerous than inconvenient. Hello, rescue squad. Let's hope you have a siphon. Am I ever glad to see you guys? I was beginning to think I was going to be stuck here for my whole vacation. I ran out of gas. Do you think you could help me out? The highway patrol isn't always the first to come along, and the motorist who stops isn't necessarily a good Samaritan. The woman stranded by the roadside doesn't have to add to her bad luck. She should remain in her locked car until the right kind of help really does come along. As a precaution, a citizen band radio could be carried in your automobile so that in case of a car emergency, you could call for assistance on Channel 9. However, be wary of who responds to your call. It might be the rapist. Although the rapist will commit his act whenever the opportunity presents itself, he finds a favorable ally in the night. It not only gives him camouflage to keep his victim from knowing he's closing in on her, it also serves to pick out the most vulnerable women. Those who drive or walk in secluded areas and don't remember how prevalent the crime of rape has become. Thank you. 
The rapist is not a man who suddenly has a weak moment in which he wants to lust. The rapist is a premeditated criminal. He is out there deliberately looking to inflict his violence. Mr. Calabash! Yeah, kitty, 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 kitty. Come on, it's time to come in. Yeah, kitty, 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 kitty. Mr. Calabash, come on. That little vagabond won't come home until he's good and ready. Mr. Calabash. So you finally decided to sh... You forgot your paper. In a one-to-one -one situation between the rapist and his intended victim, his strength and his ruthlessness will give him the advantage. Rapists like dark and lonely streets where they can search out an unwary victim. More than half of all reported rapes take place either near or inside a woman's place of residence. A woman's home has become one of the rapist's favorite places to enact his crime, providing he's given the opportunity to get inside. The rapist has become very versatile in the methods he uses to gain entrance to a victim's home. Besides the lure of open windows and unlocked doors, he will check out mailboxes to find one that tells him a lone woman is living there. The rapist is also well aware of all those secret places where spare keys are supposedly hidden. He's well skilled at finding them. 
Rapists even use the telephone book as a source for finding potential victims. Obscene phone callers are also interested in listings that specify a female. And still successful is the old delivery man routine. There is always at least one woman who will open her door before asking for positive identification. The rapist will take advantage of anything that allows him access to a vulnerable woman. Eventually, he always finds one. Hey, Sherry, come on, hurry up! Come Places on. which have large numbers of potential female victims are natural attractions to rapists. American colleges and universities have proven to be good hunting grounds for him. Each year, the rapes committed against college women are rapidly rising. And these are only the ones that are actually reported. Many women are still afraid to tell what's happened to them. Another area which the rapist has now singled out for his particular attention is the military community. The percentages of sexual attacks taking place on or near United States Army posts are on the increase. And not always is the rapist a displaced civilian. Unfortunately, the military also has its fair share of men who rape. Acts of rape committed against or enacted by members of an army organization are investigated by the Army's CID command. The CID reports that its number of rape case investigations is increasing. Although most of the Army's rape victims have been enlisted service women, many military wives and dependents, and female officers have been subjected to the rapist's fury. Neither name nor rank make any difference to him. He'll take any woman he can to vent his anger upon. You're gonna have a problem, Walensky, if you ever try to make a living off of this game. <laughs> Who's next? <laughs> What's the matter with you hotshots? Any of you feel lucky tonight? Hmm? Seems like Walensky is the only one around here who's not afraid of my reputation with a pool cue. Sergeant Ryman's about to meet Kelly. This, I gotta see. There used to be lots of crack shooters around here. Of course, that was before this here new army. Well, now, maybe things haven't changed that much, Sergeant Reimer. <laughs> um, mind if I play you a game? <laughs> okay. Okay, Sergeant, but, uh, well, first off, you, you, you better get one of them sticks over there. They're, they're sort of necessary for, for this here game. Oh, well, thank you, Sergeant Reimer, but um, I prefer my own. <laughs> uh, shall we flip to see who breaks, Sarge? No, oh, I'd like to give you the little edge. Uh, you just go right ahead, Sergeant. <laughs> Should probably put that fancy contraption of hers right through the felt. <laughs> Pardon me.
a moment of thoughtlessness has caused many a woman the cruel experience of becoming a rape victim. Now, if I should happen to miss one, Sarge, then you can show me how you got your reputation. But I wouldn't bet on it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Eight ball, corner pocket. There's no way to know who he is or when he'll be around you. Sergeant Reimer, it's been nice playing with you. Oh, sure, Kelly. It's been a real pleasure. <laughs> Bye. No woman is ever 100% safe from the chance of being raped, but many times that little extra care she will give to herself will certainly lessen the risks. Remember, common sense is an important ally to every woman. Choose public transportation rather than your thumb. It's a much safer way to get where you want to go. Keep doors locked and windows rolled up. Keep an eye on the gas gauge and be alert to the distance between service stations. A car with the top down can be an open invitation to trouble. Keep the top up. Hi, Dad. Hi, Glenda, Sandra. Hi. Hey, Dad, Sandy needs a ride home. Sure, no trouble at all. Oh, thanks. When there's a safe way home, a take oh, advantage of it. Closed and locked windows offer good protection. Make sure that the only visitors you have are the ones you invite. Hey, Sergeant. Hi, Walensky. Feeling sharp? Um, raring to go. Hey, would you mind holding this for me? Is that an order? No, Walensky. It's called being a good sport. Rape is a terrible crime. A truly vicious and ugly act. Rape can touch all lives. It brings pain and hurt, not only to the woman, but to those who love her as well. Somewhere tonight, rape will happen again. And tomorrow, and every day thereafter. Rape doesn't always happen to somebody else.